check this out. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, uh, as you can see, I've got the Mustang. I've got the Mustang pulled up in the garage. Um, and the reason is because I'm going to be taking the front bumper off again. Basically, what's going on is when I did the grill delete, I didn't really think about it, but all you're really seeing now is my radiator. That's that's really it. That's, that's really all you see is my radiator. So basically what I wanted to do is I'm going to take the front bumper off again, and I'm going to be painting the Mishimoto M um, that they put on the radiators and uh, intercoolers onto my radiator just to make it look cool. You know, just to give it a cool look. Um, because, you know, that's all you're really seeing now is the radiator. It's exposed, so I want to make it look nice. Um, so I'm going to be doing that today. Um, but first, I have, to take out the, I have to take off the front bumper. I could take out the radiator, but to be honest with you, I don't know, I don't know how to take out the radiator. Um, I watched a video on how to do it. I might do that. I don't know. I'm going to pop the hood because I have to take off the radiator cover anyways and see what it is that I'm going to have to do to take it off. The problem is I don't want to have to drain I don't want to have to drain it. That's the only issue really I have with um taking the radiator out is that I would have to drain it. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to take off the bumper and do it like that. So um let's let's get it. Okay, so the front bumper's off. Now all I'm going to do is take off this red bar here um so i can get to the full the full radiator and all that's holding it in is four bolts on this side and four bolts on that side i'm not sure what size they are but i'll figure it out so i'm gonna go ahead and take this off and i'll see you guys when i'm done with that okay so i got that bar off um and as you can see the radiator is exposed there's a little hose right there but that doesn't really matter um i tried getting it out of the way but it doesn't want to get out of the way so i'm just going to leave it hanging down like that because i'm going to put the m like right there maybe like towards the middle and the top uh so you can see it so now what i'm going to go do is i'm going to go print off a picture of the m there's the front bumper I'm gonna go print off a picture of the M. Uh, I'm gonna go up in my attic because that's where our printer is. Um, I'm gonna go print off a picture of the M and then I'm gonna come back and put it on a poster board and then cut it out on the poster board and then put it on the radiator so I don't have to mask off a whole lot of stuff. It'll already be big enough to cover up everything on the radiator. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the M on there where I want it. I've got my paint. I'm using the Rust-Oleum Ultra High Heat paint. It withstands temperatures up to 1,200 degrees, which is pretty good, I guess. Um, the reason I'm using this, I just had this laying around, um, so that's why I'm using it. Um, I would imagine you can just use regular spray paint. Uh, I don't know, though, but I'm using this. It's black. So I got it taped up where I want it, and now all that's left to do is to paint. So let's get to it. Our first coat on, uh, I'm going to let that dry for 15 minutes and then come back and do the second one. I'm going to do three coats of this stuff, and then I'll be done. So the first coat's on. Um, it's looking pretty good so far, so I'm going to go let this dry for 15 minutes, and then I'm going to come back. So I'll see you guys then. So I was coming back to the second coat. As you can see, my corners or pieces are coming up, so I'm going to use some tape and stick them back down. I don't know why they're doing that. I guess it's because the paint dried, but this one isn't. This one right here isn't doing it. It's just this one and then this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick those down and then start on the second coat.
Okay, so the second coat is done, and I think that's gonna be my last coat. I'm just gonna let this dry for an hour, and then I'm gonna come back, take the tape off, and then put the bumper and everything back on. So yeah, I'm gonna let this dry, and I'll see you guys when it's done. Okay, so it's dry. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this tape off, and should be good to go so this is the finished product i think it actually looks really good um and it's gonna look a whole lot better once i get the bumper back on but i'm done um i'm gonna go ahead and keep this uh little template here uh just just in case i mean i might want to use it again sometime i think it turned out very well um it looks good um it's a good size um it's not as big as the uh, M that's on the actual Mishimoto radiator um, but the actual Mishimoto uh, radiator M is like right here instead of right here I put it right here so you could see it whenever the bumper goes on since I don't have the grill but anyways that's what it looks like it turned out a whole lot better than I thought it would to be honest with you um, and it feels good too it's gloss black so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the bumper back on and show you guys what it looks like when it's done Okay, so um, it's finished. I hope you guys enjoyed that little edit right there I did. Um, it wasn't all a lot. Um, I went to the mall though. They were closed, so I had the, the whole open parking lot. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just go there. But it turned out really well. Um, or at least I think it does. I, I think it did. Hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you in the next video.